Hello, everybody. Uh, hanging out here with uh, Vince Edwards. I'm Dr. BLT, and uh, we're just hanging out. Um, tell them about what, how we ended up here. Well, um, I moved down here from Bakersfield, California, um, former United States Marine, served three combat tours. Um, came down to San Diego again to try and re-jump re my life. There was nothing going on in Bakersfield, so, uh, you know, came down here. And as you know, uh, as you might know, folks, uh, I'm, I lived in Bakersfield for over 10 years myself and uh, just moved here. A couple of years ago and I was really surprised when I found out Vince was moving down to San Diego so it's been we've just been hanging out a little bit this afternoon or this evening and I just have a song in mind for him to uh, record he's got a beautiful voice and uh, we'll see what happens here this evening um, first of all uh, let me talk let me ask you um, where did music all begin for you Oh, I'd say when I was a kid, um, I just sang along with the radio and uh, be in the barn at my grandparents' house or my place and um, just singing along with the radio with, with uh, you know, George Strait, Johnny Cash and, and that sort of thing. And um, I've always had the, had the passion to sing and everything else. I just never really did anything about it until I got out of the Marine Corps, got the guitar and started, uh, Started in Bakersfield singing with Red Simpson and recording a couple of his songs and then uh, did a couple from uh, Dennis Atkins who wrote Ace in the Hole for George Strait and uh, hoping to get him out there, hoping pre people appreciate him and like him and, you know, go from there. You know, you told me a story about your, how you got your guitar that really... Yeah, improved. this uh, this guitar here, um, I originally bought a, Mark, a uh, Mitchell guitar for, I got it at Guitar Center for about a hundred and uh, something bucks. And uh, I was asked to do the karaoke contest at a local bar up there, and I did it, and I came in third, and I was kind of really disappointed in myself. Um, got home, and I sat, sat down on the bed, and I said, all right, you know what, Lord, if music is something I'm supposed to follow, then show me a reason to follow it. If I'm supposed to make a living at this, show me a reason to do it. If not, show me what I'm supposed to do in my life so I can make a living and have a roof over my head and pay my bills. And the next morning, a FedEx truck pulled up in front of the house that I was renting a room at, and... Uh, this guitar came out, and it's a it's a Martin guitar that, um, and I still don't know where it came from. I know it came from the from the uh, from the uh, Martin shop, but who sent it to me, I have no idea. So it was uh, it was really cool, you know, getting that getting that guitar. So. That's an amazing story, and I think uh, I think there's some great things in store for you, and uh, I'm hoping that. Uh, Breakfast in Texas is one of them. I just wrote that song a few weeks ago, and uh, and I and I've been wanting someone to sing it that actually has some roots in Texas. So, well, I was born and raised in in, uh, in Texas, Doctor BLT. I mean, I was born in born born in Fort Worth, Texas, raised in Beaumont. Uh, joined the Marine Corps September 12, two thousand one, the day after September eleventh. Um, like I said, served three combat tours with um, Special Operations Recon Battalion. Um, and so Texas, Texas is in my blood. I mean, I, I don't care where I'm, where I'm at. I could be in California, I could be in Iraq, or I could be in Alaska, and Texas is still, still a part of me. And um, so yeah. we're just gonna go in the studio and, you know, do a very simple guitar and vocal arrangement. Maybe add a little bit of something, uh, in a, as a solo part or something like that. Um, but we're starting out on that tonight. So I'm just gonna go over the song with him. This is uh, our interview, part one at least of our interview. And I uh, just want to welcome you to San Diego. Uh, well, we'll, thank you, sir. I appreciate that. We'll never leave behind, you know, the influence of the Bakersfield sound. That's, Absolutely that's not. In, when it's in, um, once it's in you, you can't get it out of you. No, I think, uh, I think uh, performing with Red Simpson um, and knowing him and being a part of his, his music, um, a legend in... In Bakersfield, I mean, you've got Merle Haggard, you've got Buck, you've got uh, Tommy Hayes, um, and being allowed to perform with these men, and um, it was an honor for me. And I, I, you know, I, I can't thank Red Simpson enough. I love Red. Red, if you're out there, hey, you know, you're a big influence on my life. I appreciate you. And uh, hopefully to come back and, and play with you again and, and see you again because I love playing music with you and everything else. But just just being around that arena of the Bakersfield sound is just, it's amazing 
for any any country artist because how many how many artists actually can say they performed with red simpson i mean and now with vince here and we got the six string outlaws and me dr blt you know we're we're uh we're gonna make the bakersfield sound grow in this community over here in san diego we're gonna it's kind of like we're transplants you know and, but the bakersfield sound can spread out it's got wings yeah. and we're gonna we're gonna prove Hopefully. that to all of you started here and uh take it around to all y'all out there in the country and uh, hopefully y'all enjoy it and uh, and uh, appreciate it as much as much as uh, Dr. BLT and I do. So, so thanks for uh, listening to this uh, segment of uh, Dr. BLT's uh, Surreality Show. You'll be hearing more from us, believe me, you will. Have a good day. Y'all take care. God bless.